Yes, Nigerian music industry is getting bigger by the day based on the recent gross earning from the Niger music industry according to you know Fast Zone. A lot of people are really excited about that, saying that we have Rema joining the likes of Burner Boy, Whiskey, and David O to make it big four. Right now, it's a confirmation that Rema is not lying about being the big four. That is something I have to share with you guys according to a report I have now trending out on social media. According to Fast Zone, they said Rema, David O, Whiskey, Burner Boy, these guys earn or charge up to $1 million per shoe. That is a big number and a big one and we have to really get excited about the whole thing. That is something I can really share with you guys based on the recent data that is trending out on social media. I think we need to celebrate the Nigerian music industry. It has become the biggest music industry in Africa and though a lot of people are denying the obvious, but you need to understand that we got structures in the music industry and we got the population or the market that consumes you know the music that we churn out but right now we've crossed international boundaries international you know kind of platforms and we are really making big waves out there charging one million dollars per show is a big number to actually reckon with in the music industry. What are your own takes about that? I want you to put it in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. But no doubt that Rema is one of the most talented artists in Nigeria and based on the recent data he has really achieved over the time, I can say that Rema has become one of the big fours right now. That is something I can really say. But though some people are saying that Omale should be compared to the likes of Rema, but based on the data we have, we cannot really compare Omale to Rema. That is something I can really share with you guys. What are your own takes about all of this? I want you to put it in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Irasta's voice is so unreal. You know, I listened to one of our vocal rendition. It was really, really intriguing. And a lot of people, especially her fans, are really responding to that. I think she got a lot of things to achieve in the music industry and we need to give her all the support and attention at a particular time. What is your own take about that? Talking about Irasta, she has really crossed to the international scene based on her recent outings, based on her recent uh, you know, droppings and association with the likes of Rihanna. You need to understand that the sale of Maven Record to Universal Music Group by Don Jazzy has really counted in favor of the likes of Arasta. And some people are saying that it affords her the opportunity to explore the international uh, market. And that is one thing we can really celebrate on this. Let's catch a glimpse of her vocal rendition so that we get to understand what I'm really saying about Arasta. <laughs> Now, the quality of Irasta is not on doubt, right? That is one thing I can really say about this particular thing. And you should understand that she is about one of the most talented and most vocal artists in Nigeria. And that we can really give to her. But a lot of people are saying that, you know what? Irasta needs to do well enough in collaboration because she really needs to go out there just like Thames. Permit me to share with you some African art or Nigerian art that are sold out 
O2 Arena, 20,000 capacity arena in the UK. That is one thing a lot of people are really talking about. And when you check the list, you see domination from Nigerian artists out there. We got Whiskey who has sold out that arena five times. We got the video, uh, made it three times, and we got Bonner Boy done it once. We have Ashake and we have Rema. These guys are really giving us some kind of shake in the music industry. I think they are about uh, the biggest in the music industry right now based on the recent statistics they are really achieving over time. What are your own takes about this? I want you to put it in the comment section what you feel about the story. But when you move ahead with that, you talk about the Madison Square Gardens is also 20,000 capacity in the US. And you should talk about the likes of Burner Boy selling out Madison Square Gardens. We have Whiskey, we have, uh, you know, Davido, we have a uh, black coffee from South Africa. These guys are really doing well enough and doing us proud as African artists out there and selling out big arenas. That is to show that we Africans are really making headways in terms of entertainment at a time like this. Zinoliski's Element debuted number 16 on US Afro B-Boy chart and that is a big one. The B-Boy chart is really one thing that we have to celebrate at the time, we have to respect at a time like this. And some people are really talking about it that yes, we are getting global attention but we need to be careful about the indoctrination of Afrobeat by the Western world to understand. But they've offered us platforms and we have to make do of the platform. Right now, a lot of people are really looking out for Zino Liski. Though his uh, record label had issue in Nigeria where his songs or his uh, sounds were uh, actually cancelled by a lot of people after the death of Mobad, you know, based on the bullying of Mobad by his record boss Neramali. But right now, this guy is back to music chart and really crushing it big time. What are your own takes about Zino Liski achieving this good feat? I want you to put it in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Yeah, still on the big four in Nigeria right now. Do you think Rema should be counted as big four alongside the video Whiskey and Bonner Boy? I want you to put that in the comment section. But based on my own opinion, I believe that Rema has made to the big four and we have to accord him that respect right now no more big theories we have big four in the music industry that is something i can really share with you guys based on the things i'm really experiencing on charts you know on blogs right now they are really talking but when you talk about the african music industry you should be calling the likes of davido whiskey burner boy and rema based on the recent achievements these guys have made in the music industry. We have the most decorated artists in Africa as Wizkid and we still got Rema as one of the most streamed African artists based on the number he got on Spotify. Even on YouTube, this guy is getting up to a billion views per video. That is a big number for Rema and Rema is now officially big four. What are your own takes about this? I want you to put it in the comment section so that you can talk about it further. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.